I am, as you all know, getting ready to experience, and, and I'm excited about it, going through my 65th year in May. I will have a birthday. Yay! I'm acutely aware of the possibility of memory loss. One, it's what I've chosen to do as a career, but I'm acutely aware of my status as an African-American ethnicity culture Uh, We are diagnosed at a higher percentage than any other ethnicity. My age now puts me in a place where my percentage quotient goes higher, uh, being diagnosed, all of those things. And I'm acutely aware of signs and symptoms. Now, I want to go over those with you because even I sometimes get carried away with the signs and symptoms, knowing other things are going on in my life, knowing I didn't get any sleep, knowing certain things. But I also want to make sure we understand that we are talking about a consistent decline, something that is happening and it gets worse and it continues to get worse. And so we really want to make sure that you know those things, because this is the time, if I were having any of those symptoms, now is the time to go to the doctor and have a candid conversation and to find out what's the best way of looking to find out, is it Alzheimer's? Is it any other form of dementia? Is it something else? Is it a vitamin deficiency? All of those things. But to wait and to think, oh, I'm just having a moment when you've had those moments on an ongoing basis is really not a good idea. And I know the Alzheimer's Association has been promoting early diagnosis for decades. And so let's uh, you know think about our health status and know when we're a change is happening in how we navigate the world. So let's go over the signs, poor judgment and decision-making. Making bad decisions once in a while can be just typical of humanity, of your humanity, of my humanity. But when it happens in a repetitive way, we need to um, seek a diagnosis and find out what's going on. Inability to manage your budget in a way that you did before. If you were never able to manage your budget, then you have nothing to worry about. But if you were a person that were able to manage your budget and all of a sudden that's something that you cannot do, it's time to have a conversation with someone just to make sure you know what it is or what it's not. Missing your monthly payments, losing track of the date or the season, that really is a heavy duty one. If you don't know that it's summer and you're wearing your winter coat outside, that's a sensory problem. And a sensory problem is a cognition problem. And a cognition problem could be Alzheimer's. Um, Difficulty having a conversation, pulling away, isolation, not caring for your, um, the beauty needs or your grooming needs or your hygiene needs. Sometimes forgetting what word to use, uh, also a human thing. But when you do it in such a way where you're really losing big parts of words or substituting words, like they said, uh, watch to hand clock, those kinds of things and losing things. Um, from time to time is normal aging. It's typical, but when you lose them and you're not able to retrace your steps and to figure out where you may have left it behind. The Alzheimer's Association is the best research arm for Alzheimer's. Their website is absolutely amazing. They have a piece there that I really advise everybody to go and look where it shows you the brain. And can you imagine that three pounds of whatever you weigh is responsible for the activity and the execution of everything that all the other poundage does. And so damaging it with environmental things, stress, all of that, I think we're going to find it's not just one thing, as we already know, and, and research has shown, it's not just one thing, but it's a cornucopia of things that create this disease and the symptoms of dementia. You can go to the Alzheimer's Services of the East Bay website, and we too have the information about Alzheimer's, the signs and symptoms, caregiving, help and support. But please don't do this alone. This is a journey that you will need help and support, whether you're the caregiver or the individual being diagnosed with Alzheimer's or any form of dementia. So what do we wanna do? We wanna get checked. 
Early detection matters. So the minute you start to feel these things or experience these things, do not think you're a hypochondriac. Do not think that you're losing your mind. Go to the doctor, get it checked out, get the response that no, that's not it. So that you know that maybe it's just because you need more sleep. Maybe it's you need more, uh, you need to get rid of some stress in your life. Maybe it's menopause. Maybe it's a whole bunch of things. And so we want to make sure that we know the difference between normal aging and the things that really are the symptoms of Alzheimer's or early onset Alzheimer's. So if you notice any of the signs that we just discussed during this podcast um, in yourself or another person, it can be difficult to know what to do. It's natural to feel that, wow, this is scary. I don't want to know this. I don't want to discuss this with anybody. We want you to be able to discuss this with somebody. Discuss it with a friend, a best friend, if you need to have them go to the doctor with you so you don't feel alone, but figure out what's going on so that you can move on knowing what's you know, because there are some there are some drugs and um, pharmaceuticals out there that can help you in the early stages, meaning balance off, not stop you from progressing, but help with clarity, especially in the early if you catch it early and give you some time to do the five wishes, talk to your family, navigate what you want your care model to be as you uh, progress with Alzheimer's or, or uh, other forms of dementia. So let's get ahead of our aging and and really begin to say, what happens when my cognition goes? What are the symptoms that I want to be looking at? What are the normal signs of aging? And we will continue here at Life is a Sacred Journey to bring you people that can give you insight and knowledge and learning and wisdom around all of this. And also, we will uh, continue to raise up those things that are important about uh, memory loss and caregiving. Mm-hmm.